All them times you thought I was fooling around And I was just drinking with my boys All them nights I spent without you on the town I'd still miss the sound of your voice I'm telling you, baby I don't want no one else I don't want no one else The feeling I get when you walk to the room Lifts me off of my feet Whether you're wearing your finest evening gown Or the old shirt and the worn out jeans Okay, let's welcome a big Wisconsin welcome to Dusty Bo. Yay, Dusty, it's so great to have you here with us. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks for having me. You bet. Hey, we just heard your original song, No One Else. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, it started off significantly different than the way it became. And then I came up with the guitar riff and I was like, oh, man, these lyrics fit like perfectly over the riff. And so it just kind of, you know, took off from there. It, it is. It's one of those you hear it and you, you can't get it out of your head. So I, I really appreciate this song. And you are oh, working you. on new music. So how's that process going? Yeah, we actually just uh, started. We, we, we recorded the new album in Nashville a couple of weeks ago, and we just started mixing it this week. You mentioned Nashville, and I know you recently relocated from Louisville to Nashville. What was behind the decision? Uh, it was mostly for a girl. I had been thinking about moving to Nashville basically since I left L.A. in 2018. I had been going to Nashville still to do my records, play shows and network, you know, do writer's rounds. I met a girl there. She she lives there and was honestly mostly for her. But I, <laughs> of course, it makes more it made more sense, you know, for me to be there. And it's been it's been going really well. We're talking about different towns, and you are going to be in Madison very soon. You've played Madison yes. before. This time, you are our headliner at Atwood Fest, which is uh, the Saturday night version of Atwood Fest, July 27th. Are you looking forward to getting back up to Wisconsin? I'm so excited. So is the rest of the band. What do you remember liking about Wisconsin? Did you get some cheese curds or anything silly like that? We did, but we just got them <laughs> at Culver's, which Culver's never fails, man. Talking to musician Dusty Bow. Now, Dusty, your music is described as familiar, but fresh. I'm going to add in a little feisty. What's your Ooh. inspiration? You know, I have a lot of them, um, and I um, its I would say the majority of it comes from classic rock, classic mm. guitar-driven rock and roll, you know, and Big Hendrix, Zeppelin, and ACDC, and Aerosmith, and Skinner, and anything that has, like, a lot of guitar and a good bluesy progression, and also, you know, some ha- heartfelt and then some lighthearted lyrics sometimes, you know, yeah. like, you know, that's kind of what our the next single Shut Up and Play is about. You don't always got to have something to say. Sometimes you can just play a song. So tell me your backstory. Um, did you always know you wanted to be a musician and that this was going to be your future? I found out at a very early age. So I started playing guitar at seven years old. Oh, wow. And yeah, and I caught the bug real quick, especially around like nine, ten. I was just very very obsessed with it and it was something that I could do you know and it it gave me my own little world so like you know whether and of course like as a kid you know you don't have you know I was fortunate enough to not really have any kind of mental health struggles and stuff but still it was like something whenever I was upset or scared or bored I just didn't know what to do or like Mm -hmm. it was raining outside and I couldn't play I was just like I have my guitar you know and it was like got into songwriting in high school and stuff but I had you know I had really known at that point that was what I wanted to do especially when I quit playing baseball my sophomore year I was like that's I just 
this is what I want to do. It was all in from that point on. That is so great. Okay, so I know we can find wherever you are. And when your new music comes out, I'm just going to say go to DustyBow.com. It seems like that is one of the best ways to keep up with you. Of course, Dusty's going to be joining us in Madison at Atwood Fest. He's the headliner. We are going to leave you with this song. Tell me about Throw It All Away. The lyrics, I know I got something for you, so baby, let me take everything that's wrong with you and throw it all away. I was, yeah. was dealing with this producer that was like, everything that you're, you've you been doing is wrong. Here's what you need to do. And I start to go with his lead and to kind of listen to him and, you know, fire some of my good friends who are band members. And so there's, there's, it's a very deep, it's, I mean, it's, it's a very, very heavy song, meaning, you know, the meaning of it. I think people can read into that and appreciate the song into their own lives for whatever might be going uh, badly, or, you know, maybe it takes that song or something like that for them to turn their lives around too. Is who knows who for you've sure. inspired. Yeah. You know, I'm so glad you said that because let's, you know, a lot of times there are a lot of times when I write songs, there are things like, oh, this could actually, I could see this meaning this to this person too, but this is what it means to me. But at the same time, I love that, you know, like it has those moments in the song and where the message can be just like, hey, I'm going to get better. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is how I'm going to make you better or like your alter ego in a way is like kind of speaking to you or something. You know, you got that angel on your shoulder saying, hey, I got all this stuff for you. Just throw this badness, you know, this or whatever away. I got, yeah. I got some stuff. So that's a lot of times where like, I like it writers rounds or, or wherever. I don't mm. like to let people know what the inspiration of certain songs are because I want them to take it for what, it, what it would mean to them. And I, right. I think that's a really incredible thing about music and songwriting is just because it means one thing to you, it could be a completely different message to somebody else that would be helpful for them. Yes. You know, absolutely. So, uh, I'm into that. And I love I love that you got that from it, too. So, well, and from, from, I, I had not heard the story about this song before. So now that I hear that, I can totally understand it from the words in the song. But I'm sure. also going to keep my own idea of the song. So, you know, yeah, and that's I'll, good I, I songwriting, sure. Dusty. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. And, yeah. I, and, and I'm, I, I, I love that you got that because then it, it's again, you know, it's like you said, there's there's in a way, I guess an innuendo way or whatever, like it might've been, it came from a, came from a dark place, but you know, yes, there's light at the end of the tunnel from yes. like what people have seen from, you know, have gotten from it. And um, yeah, that's awesome. I love oh, that. Good. Well, we will see you in Madison soon. Thank you, Dusty. Yeah, Bo. Well, you are listening to the Max Inc. Radio show on the Civic Media Radio Network. Here's Dusty Bo with Throw It All Away. I know. I got something for you, so baby, let me say Everything that's wrong with you and throw it all the way
this dagger. 